For 1300 years Wu Zixin was the only woman to rule China. Her story began as an imperial concubine, essentially an enslaved prostitute existing only to serve the emperor, until she maneuvered her way into the position of empress through earning the favor of the emperor and by killing his first wife. She ruled unofficially for 25 years by controlling her husband and sons, before, becoming the official ruler of China for another 15 years. During her 15-year rule, she cracked down on corruption, made efforts to improve the economy, put emphasis on preserving Chinese culture, and began to turn the Chinese empire into a major world power. She was accused by those who ruled after her of widespread corruption, murder, brutality, and the use of secret police. Some of this was, surely true, but a lot of the more extreme accusations appear to be nothing more than attempts to delegitimize her rule, and to ensure that there would not be another female ruler of China. Likewise, for 1300 years China did not have any other female rulers, not until 2016 when Taiwan elected its first female president, Tsai Ing-wen.